Well, a Sacramento native has overcome uh, some of life's hardest obstacles. And now he's planning to take on the obstacles on American Ninja Warrior. Molly Real is live with his inspirational story. Are you working it out? Are you guys ready to be inspired? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's not going to be by me. <laughs> not going to be by me. <laughs> it's this guy right here. This is Jaime Lopez. <laughs> now, Jaime Lopez is training to be on American Ninja Warrior to compete on season 15. Actually, he was accepted into season 14. Unfortunately, he was riding his bike about two days after he got accepted, was hit by a car, oh my had to pull out. But now you're, you're, I, I know. And you know what? That's not even the biggest obstacle you've been through in the past couple of years, Jaime. You really have worked hard to be where you are today. Tell us where you were about a year ago. So a little over a year ago, I was barely getting into recovery, being an opiate addiction, homelessness, and really finding myself again. And so I came here to the YMCA where I was a summer camp chef before but I became a lifeguard now, and uh, I really found my passion working with the kids and found myself. Yeah. And, and you really used your training for American Ninja Warrior to get yourself back on the right track and to motivate yourself and, and, and give yourself another shot at life. Yes, because it was so easy for me to give up on myself. For 13 years, I was in an opiate addiction. And the battles in my mind, you know, like the lies I believed in, and the feelings I felt were a lot of lies that I, I put on myself because I wanted to please others instead of pleasing myself. And that day when I'm like, I'm just over this. I gotta change and really see something bigger in myself. So I took that step and I'm still taking this step and it's worth that step. Yeah, it's still a journey. Now, right now we're, we're watching your, your audition tape for American Ninja Warrior, which you were accepted. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. And you know, it's not just strength it's not just sheer strength there is such a mental capacity to this competition isn't there yes because with anything athletic or in life in general is it's a mental battle and so if we lose the battle in our mind first we're gonna we're gonna beat ourselves mm. and so once we really be like I could do this and really believe in ourselves then you the sky's the limit yeah. and it, it's kind of a cliche but it, it's it really is true you know what, Jaime, you already won. You are already a <laughs> champion in our minds. And I want to introduce you. Judah, come over here. This is your little niece, and I know she's a big part of your inspiration, too. Yeah. You are a little athlete, too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you sure are. <laughs> can, we, can we see you climb that rock wall over here? Um, so, Jaime, you, you are currently you're going to send in another audition tape in December for season 15. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling good. Got to build a little strength yeah. in more areas. Yeah. Um, especially after getting hit by the car, I got to get my mobility back, some strength in my, my hips and my back, and then working on my hand grip like she is right here. Look at that. <laughs> it's a, it's a hand grip. Yes, inspired by her uncle, of course. Okay, <laughs> before we wrap, we have to say happy birthday. Today is Jaime's birthday, I happy know. Happy birthday. Hey, Another happy year. Birthday. What a motivation you are. We're not done with him yet. You know, one of his big motivations in life is teaching kids that they can achieve anything. So we'll show you a little bit of what he does here at YMCA, downtown Sacramento, to help those kiddos dream big. Boom. Very good. <laughs> Boom. 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 <laughs> you got this, Ivy. That's so great. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. All right, more from him coming up in a little bit.